Hey, back on May 22nd of this year, I put a video out at that point in time, and it's what's taking place at Sam's Club. You won't believe. Now, if you haven't had a chance to see that video and you want to know more about what I'm talking about in this video, you can always go back to that video and watch that video from May 22nd. There's a very urgent message here that I want to get across to everybody. A lot of things have changed since I've done that video. Now, when I did that video, in that video, I talked a little bit about what was going on with the Sam's Club that I deliver to on a daily basis. You know, at one point, there was like nothing in the back room whatsoever. The place was bone dry. You could play football back there. Now, in, during that video, I talked about how all of a sudden, everything just kind of like, you know, hit the fan and they got slammed and the back rooms were crammed full. Now it's to the point where the urgent message comes into is they're more than crammed full. Their floors are so stacked full of merchandise, wherever they can put it, they're putting it. All right, they got as much out as possible. Now the back room is still crammed full. They have seven trailer loads, folks, that is sitting outside in 100 and some odd degree heat of general merchandise that's sitting out there waiting to be unloaded. There are more trailers still coming in. So if they try to make some room and get stuff out, the managers of the store, from what he told me, because I actually spoke to the manager of the store, they cannot stop the stuff coming in. It is automatically sent to them from the DC. They have to take whatever comes in on the trucks. Now, at some point, where are they going to start putting all this stuff? Are they just going to have trailers lined up out in the parking lots? Are they just going to have things just like setting everywhere? They're trying to move a lot of this summer stuff right now. Now, supposedly, they're supposed to be running some really good sales. Um, that's been hit or miss. I've read a lot of comments on a lot of my videos I've done lately. And where I've talked about these stores running sales and stuff. And some people are saying they see them. Some people are saying they don't. I don't know if it's maybe a particular area that you live in. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's something you should put in the comments below. In your particular, if you want to put your town or your state, are you seeing any sales? Are they trying to get rid of this merchandise? Are they trying to move this stuff to try to make way for more products coming in. Now, like I, I have talked about in the past on some of my videos and stuff, I do really believe that a lot of this stuff is probably gonna be put on either trucks or containers uh, because there's a lot of empty containers in this country. So they could utilize those containers and this way here they could put a lot of this stuff in there and then store it for another four or five months because we all know Walmart and Sam's likes to get out their Christmas stuff as soon as they possibly can, which will be coming up here probably towards the middle to the end of August. All right, they start putting out all their Christmas stuff, their Halloween stuff, and all that kind of stuff. They want to get ready for the big holiday season. But what are they going to do because they don't have all this room? And what are they going to do because they can't get to the stuff that's on those trucks? Because they have to unload the trucks in the sequence that they come in. Now, this is what I was told by the store manager, not the receiving manager, the store manager. But this is what this person has told me. All right. So it's not like they can pick and choose which truck they can unload. It has to be unloaded in the sequence that it has come into the store. I think in the long run, this means that there's a lot of problems for the Walmart Corporation between Sam's and Walmart. And Sam's is really having a real hard time. And like I said, if you really want to know what I'm talking about, you can go back and watch that video from May 22nd of this year, and you'll understand what I'm trying to say right now. And this is just turning into one big hornet's nest for the Walmart Corporation. Not that a lot of people really care what happens to the Walmart Corporation because of the whole general fact of what Walmart does or did when it first started rising up and it came into all the towns and put all the local businesses out of business. A lot of people haven't forgot about that. And a lot of people still hold a grudge towards Walmart for that particular reason. And maybe it could be a good reason. You would have thought that maybe Walmart would have tried to work with some of the local people, but Walmart wanted to be 
the biggest. Walmart wanted to be the best and Walmart wanted to own everything. They wanted everybody to shop at Walmart and nowhere else. They got what they wished for, but now with the high inflation rate, people don't have money. The high gas prices, high food prices, people don't have money to buy all their junk. What are they going to do? What are they going to do with all this? There's another comment you can put down below, folks. What do you think Walmart Corporation is going to do with all this merchandise it has between the Walmart stores and the Sam stores? You have one on this side, one on this side. They're both overloaded. Where's all this going to go? Put it in the comments below what you think is going to happen to a lot of that product. Because I believe that they're either going to write it all off and trash it, junk it, send it to a foreign country. Maybe they're going to throw it away. Who knows? But I want to know what your opinion is on that particular subject. So until next time, folks, I just wanted to bring you this quick, urgent message about what is taking place at the Sam Club that I deliver to on a daily basis and what they are going through. I feel really bad for the employees, I have to say. Regardless of your feelings of Walmart or Sam's or anything else, the employees are paying the price. They're under a tremendous amount of stress, a tremendous amount of pressure to do the unthinkable, what they can't do. Maybe when if you do go into the stores, have a little compassion for them because, you know, I mean, they're the ones that are dealing with the BS of this whole process of everything being shoved down their throats and it's nowhere for it to go because it's not going out the front door. It's not going anywhere. And people don't have the money. So make sure you put in those comments below and we'll see what everybody thinks. And until next time, folks, you all keep prepping. You make sure that if you're buying products, you might want to be checking them out really good. Make sure that, you know, they're on the up and up as much as possible. Because Lord only knows what you're getting and how long it's been around. So, until next time, catch you all on the flip side.